Hey everyone, it's Tom Trush from PowerfulMarketingMaterials.com with another quick tip for you. Today I'm going to talk about Google Alerts. And what Google Alerts is, is a free tool from Google that allows you to get the latest information, uh, the latest relevant Google results that are posted for any term that you create an alert for. So uh, probably the most common use for this tool that people do is they will monitor their company name or their own name just to see what people are saying and you know it makes it easy to get an alert every time that something new gets posted about your company so if it's something bad it allows you to go and uh, diffuse the situation pretty fast now I'll go through and I'll show you how to use Google Alerts really quick here so let's say we're gonna set up a an alert for my name so I just put my name in quotes and you want to use quotes if you're going to do a phrase or say like your name because you want Google to search those words together. You don't want a, a, an individual, individual search on your first name and then an individual search on your last name. You want it all together. So you just put in your term. Then you, de you tell Google that what you want, where you want Google to search and you can choose uh, everywhere or you know just news, blogs, video, whatever. I usually keep it just at everything. How often do you want to receive an alert for that term? I always keep it at once a day. You can choose it as it happens, so you can get it immediately. And then uh, the volume, I always just keep this at only the best results, just uh, so I can only receive the results that Google views as being the best ones for that term. And then all you do is you just enter in your email address and hit the button to create an alert. Now I already have one for my name and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but so you can see that's really easy to get alerts every time something new gets posted about whatever term it is that you give Google. Now some other ways that you can use this. Uh, it, like I said, it's great for monitoring your name or your company name, but you can also track trends. If there is a phrase that's related to a trend going on in your industry, uh, you could put in that phrase and get an instant alert uh, for that trend. That way you can go and comment on the latest trends in your industry, especially with something that's getting posted on a blog or some kind of a really reputable news source. It makes it really easy for you to get that information quickly and make comments and get part of that conversation. Uh, you can also spy on your competitors. Uh, put in your company or your, your competitors' names and you can see what they're doing online or what people are saying online about your competitors. So that can be that can also be really helpful. Uh, you can monitor if you're doing article marketing. You can monitor your own articles. Uh, so let's say you send out an article. Uh, you can take your headline and do an alert for your headline. And then that way you will see when somebody picks up your article and posted it on their own website or posted it on in an online newsletter. It just helps you uh, keep track of where your information is getting used. Now, one way that really isn't talked about too often with Google Alerts is how you can use it to get leads for your business. So uh, let's say that uh, maybe you're an auto mechanic or something. You can put in a phrase like, I need an auto mechanic. And if you did that, well then you'd get an alert every time somebody put that phrase into uh, some website. Now, what Google will do is they'll often search the, there's a lot of question and answer sites out there and, you know, forums, things like, places like Yahoo Answers, where people put in questions because they need recommendations. Uh, they put in questions on blogs and things. So, uh, if you're an auto mechanic, maybe you could put in a phrase like, I need an auto mechanic, and then maybe you add in your city. And then that would help narrow down the results. So you would get a notice every time you see somebody that puts in one of those, like on a question answer type site or in a forum, they put in that phrase, that can be very beneficial because then you could follow up with that person. Uh, and now this is something that you have to play with a little bit because you don't really know what the exact phrase, it's kind of hard to determine, but you just play around, create multiple alerts uh, on the types of phrasing that people would use to find your business. And think about what are the keywords that people are using to find your website and create alerts for those. Um, maybe it's something like, I don't know, uh, if I was doing it for myself, maybe looking for a copywriter. Maybe something like that I would put in. And uh, what you can also do here is they have this preview results. So you can click this and it'll show you. And you can see, obviously, there's people that are using this phrase. And 
you know, I could go and I could follow up these type of pe these people. Uh, but it can be very helpful because you're getting this information as it gets posted online, so you'd be able to respond pretty fast to these people. Now I'll show you. I'll go over to my email really quick because I did receive a Google alert today, and I'll just show you what they look like. Uh, you can see the the alert comes in, and your subject line is whatever the phrase is that you put in. See, I'm just monitoring my own name, and this is just an old article that I wrote that got posted recently. So I received an alert today that uh, this article was posted, and then you just click on it and it'll go over and you'll be able to see your articles. So as you can see, pretty uh, it's a great tool from Google. It can be very beneficial. And so I just recommend you play with it a little bit and put in some of those phrases, especially for getting leads. Uh, put in some of those phrases that people uh, would use to find a, uh, you know, a, a business or to find your services. So uh, like I said, go out there, give this one a try, and uh, have fun with your marketing.